Hello and welcome to another episode of Embrace Your Festive Space. My name's Tommy Cross and whilst I'm stood in front of probably the most unconvincing snowstorm ever captured on camera, I will be able to show you five easy steps to help you make a more than convincing regal Christmas wreath this Christmas and all you need is a few bits of festive foliage and a potato. Step one, gather up your festive foliage. For the most regal of wreaths, my festive favourites are spruce or white fir or any Christmas conifer will do in fact. But for winter colour and texture, holly, mahonia and osmanthus all add a festive flourish. But to help you avoid becoming a gardening Grinch whilst making your Christmas wreath, wear some good gardening gloves to avoid their barbs and brambles. Now here's a top tip, especially if you're going to be making more than one door wreath. If you want to keep your festive foliage as fresh as possible and keep those Christmas colours as bright as can be, keep your cuttings in a bucket of cool water. Step two, it's time to pick up your potato. Personally, I like to go for a potato the same size as the palm of my hand. But the bigger the potato, the bigger the wreath. So if you want a bigger bouquet, look for a super-sized spud. Prepare your potato by passing a kebab skewer through the center. That is going to be the hole in which you're going to pass a piece of garden wire to create a loop for hanging your Christmas wreath. Once you've done that, it's on to skewering your spud and pricking your potato. Create a series of holes around the outside of your potato, about three centimeters deep. This is where you're going to start inserting your Christmas cuttings. Step three, gather up your greenery and trim down those Christmas cuttings. Now, if you're using a palm-sized potato, you need three different sizes of festive foliage, between five, 10, and 15 centimeters max. And when you are cutting that festive foliage, try and snip it with an angle. This will be easier to insert into your potato. Step four, it's time to start pushing your prickles into your potato. Use the angled edge of your Christmas cuttings and gently insert them into the potato. Work slowly and carefully and build up your festive foliage to create a crescent around the outside edge of your potato. The idea is to work into the center of your spud with smaller festive foliage finally covering the potato completely. And step five, top off your potato with all the trimmings. Tie some garden wire to seasonal trinkets such as pine cones, ball balls, or even ribbon to wrap up your wreath. And then it's time to hang. The moisture in the potato will help keep your festive foliage looking fantastic all the way through the holidays. If you're feeling creative this Christmas, candle holders, centerpieces, or larger wreaths can all be made using a humble potato. Oh, there is one last thing to do. Let's clean up the mess. So with your seasonal spud and your Christmas cuttings, I hope you have plenty of fun making your very own Christmas wreath. And what better way to signal to your friends and family that you're ready to celebrate Christmas!